Hope these grow. back home, back from the mountain and we really hope the bridge gets fixed soon. It's very difficult, very difficult for them, everybody in the community, but things like this, the community comes together, nobody goes without food, everybody makes sure that everybody's got what they need. If it means going down and collecting groceries for each other, going to the market or sharing vegetables and fruits that have been grown, eggs from chickens, even meat, then the people in the province will do this. They look out for each other. It's the beauty of living in the Philippines. People are so nice. They're so kind and generous. I can't explain it really. It's a bit like the UK used to be, in my opinion anyway. Back when I was growing up, people used to share a lot of things, very friendly to each other. As time's gone on, it's not always the same everywhere. Obviously, it depends where you live, depends on your neighbours. There are some fantastic communities in the UK. But speaking from personal experience, where we were, it wasn't like that. And it was a shame. But coming back here to the province, back to the Philippines, it feels like going back in time. There they are, there's Mr. Cream. A creamy boy, there's Mr. Cream. Now his nice green collar. It's not too tight, is it, Cream? No, it seems, no, it's fine. It's very fetching. You're very handsome with it on, very pogey. Ikao guapo, batang the lucky. It's not butter, you only use the butter if it's humor. Oh, batang asshole. Batang us all? Is it? Is he not a young human? A cow pogey, Mr. Cream. It's a bit warm, isn't it, my darling? Yeah, it's still early, but it's already nine o'clock. Still so Everybody in the province has been up for four hours already mm. doing their work and we're just getting started on ours now. Mm. Our throats are a bit crackly. <laughs> I think the change of season here has given us both a little bit of a cold. First cold in two years. Yeah. yeah so it's really the first cold we've had in over two years. I think it was a change of season. It went to the hot season but then we had that storm. It really was cold here. You may laugh at me, cold in the Philippines, but the seasons changed, changed. The seasons changed and it got cold, down to 20 degrees even, 22 degrees, which for us in the Philippines is very cold as we're used to warmer weather now. We've acclimatized. So what we've got here is we have bamboo and papaya. So they sort of got a bit joined together here. They're a bit of a mix really. You've got the bamboo there. and the papaya as a result has been a bit displaced now this papaya is the one that we planted it was only very small we transplanted it we put it here as you can see unlike the other one it's not flowering very much and nothing's growing so really this this papaya has got no chance of fruiting at the moment it's not really in the healthiest condition due to being a bit crammed in there with the bamboo and the malungai. So our intention still is to get some grass over the next week or two. Now the storm's gone, the rain's gone. It's a great time to get some grass. We'll have to water it daily to make sure it doesn't dry out. So Jane's gonna cut the bamboo out. We can replant it.
lagi isang bambo to support it. So I need to put some bambo to kind of like look like that. Jane's making a bamboo support for the papaya to hang on to, to try to straighten it out, try to help it. So we're gonna try and have two papaya trees in the garden bearing fruit this year. So we're going to start planting some fruits and vegetables. We're going to have a nursery where we can start from seeds. I don't really have green fingers, so to speak, but I'm going to give it a go. It's always good to learn. Cookie, come on, you and your girlfriend. Cookie's got a girlfriend. So there he is, Cookie. I think he's got a girlfriend. Cookie, is that your girlfriend? Cookie. There's Cookie, there's Creamer, the other white dog, and his girlfriend. Look at them. Look at them run. Cookie, your girlfriend. Cookie, your girlfriend, come back. You're too young. You're too young, you have to finish your school first. Come on, Cookie, who are you? Who are you? Are you Cookie's girlfriend? Cookie, you got something to tell us? Cookie, you got something to tell us? Oh dear, this dog's too young, he's not even a year old yet. He's already got a girlfriend. Oh dear, what will the neighbours think? Cookie, come on. So there's the Flamira kitchen up there. I don't know what they're doing, but they're barking at the owners. Maybe that's where, ah, I get it now. So Cookie's girlfriend belongs to Flamira kitchen. That's what he likes, so he's after the free food. Come on, Cookie, come on. Good boy. You got a girlfriend, eh? You got a girlfriend, eh? It's this blue collar, is it? Let's go, come on, let's go. So Jane bought me these, 59 peso gardening gloves. Is that 59? No. It's 90 plus, <gasps> 96 pesos probably. 96 peso? Yeah. Probably on par with what you'd pay in the UK for a pair of gloves like this. Oh, but I haven't, oh, they stick together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my hands are stuck. Ah. There we are, we've got to not leave them in too hot a place, otherwise they sort of melt into each other. Yeah. But they're nice and padded, so I can do some gardening. We're going to try and start planting some of our seeds. We're going to create a nursery for plants and seedlings. We've got some pots, we've got some seeds. And this is something I've always had an interest in. I've never been good at it. Back in England, I would try to plant some things. Sometimes a little bit of success. I managed to grow blueberries one year, but they didn't last long. Apples and pears. Most are dying. Mm, yeah, <laughs> they didn't really work. Strawberries, no. Why do you think it? I think um, probably because I was a bit too lazy looking after them. So you don't love, it need, needs love. But when you're in England and it rains a lot, it was a different environment where we lived. It was noisy, it was busy, a lot of cars going up and down, a lot of sirens. The garden was never really a relaxing place, so I didn't have much interest staying outside for long. Growing up though, my mum was always in the garden doing this sort of thing. And we were out as kids playing around. It was quiet, it was peaceful. I moved into my own house. 
wasn't quite the same. But moving here, it's brought it all back. It's quiet here, it's peaceful. You're encouraged to go outside, do things. And I may not have green fingers, but I'm willing to learn. I want to give this a go, see if I can grow some stuff. So there's no snails and stuff in here. There's a wiggly in here. Yeah. There's a, a wiggly ah, worm. The ah. the way. Jane's afraid of anything that wiggles like that. Even jelly worms. Okay, so we have some seeds. I have two jalapeno peppers. We're going to start them in these pots. Probably need to learn a bit from Jane. Jane's much better at gardening than I am. It's a Sakura seed, a bonsai. It's a Japanese cherry blossom, and I hope it grows to have a proper cherry blossom tree here in the Philippines, a Sakura tree. There's nothing quite like it when they bloom, something really special. My mum used to have one in England. I would love to grow our own. This, if it was to grow into a tree, probably would take 15 years or so to really get big and blossom every year. But we're not going anywhere. We're gonna stay here forever. So we plant it now and in the future, who knows, maybe we'll have our own. There he goes. His favorite seat, his lookout. It's where he can see, see the mountain, he can see the sky, the clouds, and he can just daydream. So this Kubu behind me, it's one of my favorite places in the house. It's nice to be outside with nature. You can hear the birds, feel a nice cool breeze, and it's, it's really peaceful and quiet, really nice here. I like to go in there, sometimes to meditate, sometimes to pray. And it's nice for some quiet time, be outside, but still inside, if you know what I mean. And the boys like it too, they love this chair. You get a great view, and they like to wait for me to come out. They're very loyal dogs. But they're more than dogs, they're pets, they're part of the family. We love these boys, 